China has made the world's first monkey pig hybrids. Well, they were born. So world's first monkey pig hybrids are born in Chinese lab as part of groundbreaking bid to grow human organs inside animals for transplants. Chimera piglets contained DNA from both pigs and cynomalgus monkeys. They died within a week of being born uh, at a laboratory in Beijing. Scientists claimed the research aimed to find a way of growing human organs. Where is Alex Jones when you need him? Wasn't Jones just on Joe Rogan talking about the creation of, of animal hybrids and animal human animal hybrids and all this other nonsense? I'm, I'm kidding. I don't know where Jones is going with all this, but they're doing it. This is real. This is a real story. This is from just the other day. I'm going to read you the story. And then I want to talk to you about something I find particularly interesting. It's not really news related, but because of this, I want to talk to you about the human Z. That's right. You may not have heard of this, a chimp human hybrid and some of the creepiness around how that was made, if it was made. Let's read the news. Two chimera piglets containing monkey DNA have been born in China. Although both died within a week and appeared to be normal, the baby animals had genetic material from cynomalgus monkeys, am I pronouncing that right? In their heart, liver, spleen, lung, and skin. Scientists at the research, which required more than 4,000 embryos to get the piglets, aims to find a way of growing human organs and animals for transplantation. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop real quick. I'm willing to bet China is doing crazy, freaky experiments. Now, part of me is excited by the idea of an evil Chinese mastermind, you know, like these evil labs where they're creating like superhumans with wings and like giant claws. But I, in reality, I'm horrified by the idea of what they're doing in China with organ harvesting and capturing people. Well, it certainly would be fun for someone to discover how to give humans like special gene therapies to give them the ability to like, you know, electrocute people like an electric eel or some other superpower. That's just not a reality at this point. And unfortunately to do that requires a lot of weird experimentation and um, human torture. Not really. I, they could do it on animals first. Maybe we'll get to the point where there's real gene therapy, but it is a really scary future. I'm willing to bet China's doing a lot of really freaky things we don't know about. Five-day-old piglet embryos had monkey stem cells injected into them that had been adjusted to produce a fluorescent protein, allowing researchers to find out where the cells ended up. Scientists said it was unclear why the two chimera piglets died, but as eight other normal piglets that were implanted also died, they think this is a problem with the IVF process rather than chimerism. Despite the research, some members of the scientific community have warned against creating chimeras due to ethical concerns. Neuroscientist Douglas Munoz at Queen's University in Kingston, Canada, said that research projects like this just really ethically scares me. Me too! <laughs> this is freaking me out. It's kind of cool. Like, dude, I love sci-fi. I love the idea that maybe, we'll like, you know, we can actually improve humans and, and make our bones stronger, muscles stronger, live longer. But the reality of it is much scarier than the science fiction of it. Like, it's cool to imagine a sci-fi world of, like, mutants with crazy powers. In reality, it's going to be deformed, tortured, vomiting humans with, like, three eyes going, kill me, as we get to that point, and I'm kind of freaked out by that. He says, for us to start to manipulate life functions in this way, of, uh, in this kind of way, without fully knowing how to turn it off or stop it, if something goes awry, really scares me. Yes. You ever see the movie Splice? Like, what if we create a human with a scorpion tail and big claws, and they're super smart, and they go around implanting their eggs in people's stomachs, and then we got a whole breed of these monsters, and then the world falls apart because we're walking around with guns trying to fight off these things that we created. I'm calf kidding, but you know, I don't know. Maybe we'll have better lab conditions than that. However, China shows no sign of stopping after proposing in July to create monkeys with partially human-derived brains in order to better study diseases like Alzheimer's. They made movies about this. <laughs> Several Planet of the Apes movies. And Yale University stem cell expert Alejandro de Los Angeles has written the search for a better animal model to stimulate uh, human disease has been a holy grail of biomedical research for decades. Now, I want to stop. I, I'm, I'm, I don't want to be a Luddite. The reality is, We've done tons of experiments for decades to find cures for diseases and things like that. So while, 
you know, I think we've grown organs and other animals before and things, you know, and, and things of that nature. This isn't the first time they've made weird chimeras. It won't be the last. And I really don't think the world is going to end. I think it's possible that this research really does lead to, you know, creating uh, organs that can be implanted perfectly. Now, here's the thing. When you get a transplant, you need to be on medication because your body will reject it. If they could grow an organ with your DNA, then if your heart fails, you get a brand new version of your own heart your body won't reject. If we can get to that point, this is actually a pretty good thing. So I think it's fun and exciting to joke about the sci-fi future of like scorpion monkeys attacking us in the streets because we went nuts. It's just not reality. It's just fun to talk about. Realizing the promise of human monkey chimera research is an ethically and scientifically appropriate manner uh, in an ethically and scientifically appropriate manner will require a coordinated approach. A human pig hybrid embryo was created in January 2017 at the Salk Institute in San Diego, but died 28 days later. It is hoped the research could offer an alternative to organ donation. Around three people a day die in the UK, according to the NHS, and 12 in the US because replacement organs cannot be found. And not just that, even if you get an organ, your body might reject it and it might fail. Think about what life would be like if they can grow your own organs. Now, you ever see the movie The Island? It's got Scarlett Johansson and uh, Ewan McGregor, I think. And it's about this big company takes your DNA, clones you. And then if you ever need replacement parts, take them from the clone. That movie was really interesting. But what if we didn't have to create full body clones of their own minds and their own lives that you're stealing organs from, and we could just grow your organs in a lab or in an animal? Amen. Let me ask you this. You can comment. If you had the choice between dying because your heart was failing or your kidneys were failing, or you could take your own genetically created kidneys from a pig and have a brand new pair of kidneys, would you do it? And I mean this as a serious question because I know a lot of people would say no. They would turn down pig-grown kidneys even if it was their DNA. Let me know what you think. And now I have a special treat. There were some other stories I wanted to pull up in this vein. I decided to do this instead. I decided to pull up the human Z on Wikipedia just to entertain the idea. They say the human Z is a hypothetical chimpanzee human hybrid. An unsuccessful attempt to create such a hybrid was made by Ilya Ivanovich Ivanov in the 1920s. Woo, that's gross and that's creepy. They say this, the possibility of hybrids between humans and other apes has been entertained since at least the medieval period. St. Peter Damien, 11th century, claimed to have been told of the offspring of a human woman in Italy who had mated with an ape. <laughs> oh, jeez. Chimpanzees and humans are closely related, sharing 95% of their DNA sequence and 99% of coding DNA sequences, leading to contested speculation that a hybrid is possible. The closest known data is that hybridization between chimpanzees and bonobos, which share 99.6% of the genome, is easily possible. Some authors even say that the population split between bonobo and chimpanzee occurred relatively close in time to the split between the bonobo chimpanzee ancestor. Uh, we'll go on. We'll go on. Humans have one pair fewer chromosomes than other apes, with ape chromosomes two and four fused in the human genome into a large chromosome. Having different numbers of chromosomes is not an absolute barrier to hybridization. Similar mismatches are relatively common in existing species, a phenomenon known as chromosomal polymorphism. Reports of attempted hybridization. It's been attempted, but I don't want to make this video super long. So I want to just tell you one really creepy thing. I once read a great deal about the human Z because I'm curious. I read a lot of stuff. Okay. And one of the most interesting uh, arguments I've heard as to why it doesn't exist. If you took a human male, you could take their genetic material, if you know what I'm talking about, and they would not have no idea what you've done with it. In fact, you can, go to, you can go to a bank where they carry many of these things and just get a vial of male genetic material to be implanted in a chimpanzee. Now, I know this is getting gross, but I, we're going we're gonna to be gross. I'm, I'm going to wrap this up soon. Unfortunately, humans are much larger than chimpanzees. So a female chimp could not carry a human Z because it would probably just be too big. The head would be too large. The timing wouldn't make sense. See, here's the thing. The reason why human babies are so, I guess, helpless is because we have big, big brains. So the baby, we, humans give birth to the baby rather early relative to other species. And this is, this is my understanding. Correct me if I'm wrong, biologists and, you know, doctors. But the, the babies have to grow outside the womb because of our big heads. Other animals 
like a dog within two years is basically an adult fully functioning and kind of smart. But a two-year-old human doesn't even understand this, these, these words, right? It takes a humans, humans a, long, a lot longer to develop. So I was reading something that argued, and this may not make sense, because I could be wrong, okay? But I'll just say it, that the reason why we don't have these is because you would need to take male chimp genetic material and implant it in a human female who would have to then carry it, which they probably would not want to do unless they didn't realize what you were doing. But now with lab-grown life, we may actually get to this point. That may be wrong. It's just some stuff I read, you know, on the internet that I thought was interesting. But let me read you this. They say, in the 1980s, there were reports on an experiment in human chimpanzee crossbreeding conducted in China in 1967 and on the planned resumption of such experiments. In 1981, Ji Yang, head of a hospital in, Shen- in Shenyang, was reported as claiming to have been part of a 1967 experiment in Shenyang in which a chimpanzee female had been impregnated with human materials. According to the account, the experiment came to nothing because it was cut short by the Cultural Revolution, with the responsible scientists sent off to farm, to farm labor and the, three, uh, uh, and the three-month pregnant chimpanzee dying from neglect. According to Timothy McNulty of Chicago Tribune, the report was based off an article in the Wenhai Bao paper of Shanghai. Li Guang of the Genetics Research Bureau at the Chinese Academy of Sciences was cited as confirming both the existence of the experiment prior to the Cultural Revolution and plans to resume testing. The reason I bring up the human Z is because if anything is going to happen, it would be in China. In 2019, unconfirmed reports surfaced that it surfaced that a team of researchers led by Professor Juan Carlos Espusua uh, Belmonte from the Salk Institute in the U.S. successfully produced the first human monkey chimeras. Belmonte and others had previously produced a pig and sheep embryos containing a small percentage of human cells. As with those embryos, the human monkey chimeras were reportedly only allowed to develop for a few weeks. Although development was stopped prior to the formation of a nervous system or organs, avoiding more severe ethical concerns. The research was reportedly carried out in China to avoid legal issues. Due to the much larger evolutionary distance between humans and monkeys versus humans and chimpanzees, it is considered unlikely that true human monkey hybrids could be brought to term. However, it is feasible that human compatible organs could be grown in these chimeras. I will leave it there with a more interesting and apolitical story, kind of, about the weird world of uh, animal chimeras. Where's Alex Jones when you need him? I know, I'm kidding. Ah, I'll see you all tomorrow at 10 a.m. Thanks for hanging out.